study and development of the async low proximity magnetic distortion, distortion system. Someone finds a hidden message with instructions for levels two and three. For the sake of convenience, you may hear your peers refer to the project under any of the following titles. The machine, the door, the back rooms. Okay, guys. All right, uh, that was good. I'm thinking we get a wide angle, and then we're done. Okay? All right? Yeah, cool. cool. Like, how much further? Like, uh, a little more. Right. A little more. Okay. Yeah. 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 Woo! What happens when you glitch out of reality completely? Well, if this happens to you, you may find yourself in a place where no man should ever go. A never-ending prison of rooms that exists outside our world that's now your new home. And if it sounds scary, maybe you'll take comfort in knowing that at least you won't be alone. In the real world, people believe that some objects can become no-clipped from reality. A wall will appear darker than the others around it, or you'll find a door that you're certain there should be nothing on the other side. If you have a keen eye, you can notice these things and avoid them at all costs. But not everyone is so lucky. For some, they unknowingly interact with these objects, likely thinking nothing of the implications that are soon to come. And much like a character in a video game, if you interact with a non-clipped object, you fall off the map. And one could imagine that it's incredibly confusing and terrifying to go from existing in one world to instantly being dropped into another with nothing but millions of square miles of empty rooms on either side of you. But this is your reality now, and it's where your journey into the back rooms begins. Level Zero is a maze of monotone yellow rooms, each looking the same as the last, with only the slightest of variations. The carpet that covers the level is moist and creates a persisting scent. In the beginning, the only sounds that can be heard is the consistent loud buzzing of the old fluorescent lights. As you walk through the rooms, you'll start to realize how big the area actually is. Every room just leads to another and another. You start to wonder how big of an area could this actually be and how could this even be possible? Many will start to run and sprint through the rooms thinking that this might get them out of this maze faster, but it's no use. And after running around for seemingly an eternity, you'll finally realize that you're likely going to be stuck in here for a while. What exactly this place is, is not known, and that's part of the mystery of it all. It's just an infinite maze of these off-putting rooms. And traversing a place like this would likely cause anyone to slowly lose their minds. It's believed that not many will survive this first level, and that's for a few reasons. Either they lose the will to carry on, or they encounter something. While walking through these rooms, you may find yourself encountering humanoid creatures. After walking for hours, and maybe even days, just imagine the horror of turning the corner and seeing something standing there. Something that isn't human. I 
Mr. Beck, may I ask uh, where this subject came from? Can anybody hear me? Hello? Damn it. What the hell? After days of walking in a seemingly endless loop, you might actually welcome level one, because at least it's something different. No longer is there a yellow wallpaper, but instead the walls are made of concrete. The floor on this level isn't the signature carpet of the one before it. Much like the walls, this too is concrete. A deep rumbling of machinery can be heard throughout this entire floor, as well as the creaking noises coming from unseen rooms. The hum of the fluorescent lights is still there, but it's greatly masked by the other noises, and in this floor, the lights are known to fail quite often. The lights will flicker at many spots and will often shut off completely and leave you in complete and total darkness. This is when the creatures on this level come out. You won't be able to see them, but you'll know when they're close. These creatures omit a disturbing, distorted, screaming sound as they drift through the darkness. If you hear them, quickly navigate to another room further away from the noises. And much like the level before, try not to look in the direction of these things, because you never know how hostile they may be today. As you walk through level one, the walls around you will begin to change. The vast rooms will become narrowed to the point where you're walking in long continuous hallways. The fluorescent lights are amplified to the point that the buzzing becomes even louder and the heat from them causes the temperature to soar over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The hallways are claustrophobic and resemble service tunnels as there is piping and machinery lining the walls. Pretty much any being you encounter on this floor is hostile and your only chance of escaping once you see a figure, is to run the opposite way, and don't look back. According to the discs, it appears that painting the blood monkey symbol may gain access to the back rooms. These rather creepy instructions along with players who may have entered on previous occasions. 